Victory Over Corona, Part 15. We're moving along here. I title this, They Will Recover. How many like recovery? Recovery is a good thing. Hallelujah. That, that's, uh, nobody's trying to get sick and stay sick. Everyone's trying to recover and get well. Amen? And so, Mark chapter 16, verse 18 says this. Talking about these signs will follow them that believe in my name. This is one of the things. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. Glory to God. We lay hands on the sick here. You can lay hands on yourself. Lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. Glory to God. We lay hands on the sick here at Arise Family Church, and people recover. Glory to God. James chapter 5, verses 14 and 15 says this. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the sick, and the Lord will raise him up if he has committed sins, and they shall be forgiven him. Glory to God. Anointing with oil is another way. Laying hands on the sick, anointing with oil. These are just, these are just um, expressions. These are just ways by which we can release a point of contact. They, they are points of contact by which we can release our faith in God's healing power, in His goodness towards us. So, it uh, goes on to say, and the prayer of faith will save the sick. Now that Greek word saved is the, is the Greek word sozo, and it means to save, to deliver, to heal, whole, uh, to, to uh, preserve. And so this word, and I think it would have been better translated uh, if they would have used the word healed, the prayer of faith will save the sick. What does that mean? The prayer of faith will heal the sick. Glory to God forevermore. And so they lay hands on the sick, they recover. Anointed with oil, they recover. Glory to God. The prayer of faith heals the sick. Healing and health is the will of God for you. And so, Father God, I pray for the people in the name of Jesus. I speak healing. I speak health. I curse all disease, every sickness, and every plague or affliction, fever and inflammation in their lives, in their bodies, in their homes, in the name of Jesus. I say, go in the name of Jesus. I say, be healed in the name above every name, the name of Jesus. And I thank you for freedom. I thank you for recovery in their lives in the name of Jesus.